So Umar, <laughs> Umar didn't like me filming him. That's his right, not a public place. But I'll just have to find a public place where you can film people. One of the people, one of the places most people don't realize this, but it is legal in every state to film uh, police officers. So how about we go to the police and then we can ask them to do a field sobriety test on me, maybe even a breathalyzer or something. Because I do not want anyone to be concerned about me dropping off the table. Facebook is going to complain about fucking music again. Let me switch songs real quick. What other songs do I have? That's the same song. Hold on. Going to the jungle. Down on the corner. It's a good one. See, I'm singing over the song and I'm talking so that no one's going to think that I'm trying to make money with, you know, fuck this shit. Um, how the hell do I, see, I would turn on the radio right now, but I'm trying to focus on driving. Down on the corner, out in the street. Danbury Police Station. In the fucking song before it's even finished. Everyone, relax. YouTube, Facebook, everyone, goddamn, relax. All right. Let's go see if um, all those drugs and alcohol that I took have impaired my ability to drive. This is how a lady gets out of the car. Oh. Because the patriarchy told us we have to hide our panties. Why? It makes men happy to see our panties. What's the big deal? Why not show our panties to everyone? In the Garden of Eden, they used to walk around naked. And then because of original sin, we can't show even our panties anymore. We are in the Danville police station. Yes, uh, my name is Margaret Lebron, and I had a little bit of alcohol to drink, and I had a little bit of Robitussin and a little bit of medical marijuana, and I want to make sure that I'm good to drive, and I was wondering if you could uh, maybe ascertain whether it's safe for me to drive or not. Okay, just have a seat. Okay. Hi, how are you doing? How are you doing? I've been where you are, then I became spiritually enlightened, and I feel much better. I can't sit because there's somebody lying on um, 
the bench. show you my driver's license. Yeah, if you have that on hand, please. And then have the officer come up and speak with you. Perfect. Uh, where do I... Oh, sorry about that. There we go. All right. Is this your correct address? No, it's not. And what is your correct address? One Kennedy Avenue, minute 4001, Bangor, Connecticut, 06 in Carnegie. One the guy who was shot in the head, our president JFK, Kennedy. One Kennedy Avenue. Did you get the unit number? Yes. Thank you. It's just on the street from here. I can't sit because there's a drunk man taking up the whole bench. I'll I'll just stand. That's okay. Just, okay. I am, well, uh, I would like you to determine how I am. Okay. I understand you took some drugs or something, and then you're worried about how you can drive. Uh, earlier this evening, I took a small amount of medical marijuana. I had okay. a small amount of Robitussin DM and a little bit of wine. Okay. And I want to make sure that you think that I'm clear to drive. Probably not a good combination. Don't Correct. Me. That's right. that's why uh, out of well, an overabundance. Factors, how about we call an ambulance because we'll have the paramedics. No, 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 no. Please don't. Please don't. No. Then I will want to call my lawyer right away, Neil Rogan. Okay, you can call whoever you want, but I think they'd probably be better judged than we are. With the mixture of the, the marijuana, the wine, and everything else. Okay. Because I don't know how the combination will affect you. Probably I'm not going a good to manner. pause this video right now.